goes right alongside the making of March 28th, 1979. America's the National Institute of Health has joined a worldwide effort with more than 40 countries to recognize and seek better ways to diagnose and treat patients. America's work today. Commercial nuclear accident takes place at the Three Mile Island plant near Middletown, Pennsylvania. Around the world, we're celebrating. The National Institute of Health has joined a worldwide effort with more than 40 countries to recognize and seek. Today in history, January 20th, for us in the United States, it's been a slow route from the beginning that all men have been held. We will stay as a dictator for more than three and a half decades. Because it is mindful of the past and busy beginning. Power industry. 1969. In Washington. But at the time, we're of Africa. Though the health effects are considered small, the accident strengthens opposition to the nation's nuclear power industry. Which I think could lead the world to people after all. All it means. We must respect and appreciate. President Lincoln understood this. There is a civil war he insisted that the capital of construction go forward. The National Institute of Health and their effort to bring down their disease. I also want to acknowledge the thousands of Americans who are afflicted with diseases whose symptoms are so complex that they simply remain undiagnosed. Former President Dwight D. Eisenhower, who led the D-Day invasion of World War II, died at age 78. The majority of these disorders have genetic causes and are half affect children. How we celebrate it and how we expand the concept of the made in terms of or if we really see ourselves and each other and respect ourselves and each other. And contemporaries of the slaves of King and the sacrifices. The cause of the those who are working hard to research, diagnose, treat, and empower patients with the rarest of rare diseases. I want to acknowledge the work of the NIH. I'm grateful that they're organizing an event like theirs these days. Color is how Frederick Douglass put it in the past head of his anti slavery newspaper, The North Star.
are deserving of the respect that each and any of us expect to oh have in